my goodness, he released an absolutely insane card. Let me tell you why. Let me tell you how to link him, how to put him into your team, build you a ton of Premier League hybrids that are different and have different players in it. So yeah, let's first tell you what I like about him. And before I tell you what I like about him and why you should complete him, let me know. Are you going to complete Chud Hurri? I would call him Chud Hurri because you have, you know, he has like a, if you had an extra R, I just think it's funny, but <laughs> it's actually not funny. But anyways, let me know in the comments. Are you going to complete him? Are you not going to complete him? What players are you going to be link him, linking him with? First, this is a great card, man. This is a great card. I'm a big fan. I've personally played against Chud Hurri in um, Silver Objectives. And I know many of you would say, oh my God, but it's only Silver Objectives. Bro, I swear this guy is cracked, man. This guy, like I know 80 pace is not the best in the world. 90 pace with Shadow. You know, the thing is, because he has high defensive work rates, he's never going to come up. The main issue with a lot of players this year is that they have high attacking work rates and they keep going up and up and up and they are always out of position in the CDM position. This guy is always going to be in position. And then you're like, okay, but he's going to be in position. Will he be able to defend? Well, mate, he has 95 defending, so he will be an absolutely insane defender. And then his physicality is actually quite good. He's, he's aggressive, which I actually think is as important, if not more important than strength, because it allows him to actually get to, you know, win the tackles. He's short passing his class and he's dribbling his class. As a 5 star week, he can pass with both feet. I think this is an absolutely insane card, as good as you can get it. I wish he had 85 pace, but that would have broken the game, so it made sense for EA to do to give us a 90. Um, personally, I will show you the best links, how you can put him into your team, and everything. I first also wanted to give like a quick, just just really quick, talk about every single foot birthday card that there is. Um, this Adama looks cracked, 2 million is a lot, but he has five, oh, he ain't got a four, uh, 5 star week, well, four, 5 skills is insane. Atal has 5-5, five, five. this card is gonna be absolutely insane. If you guys use his thoughts last year, oh my goodness gracious. Then... The player that I want to I wanna bring a lot of awareness around is, is Gunter. This guy is going to be absolutely insane for those of you that have Bundesliga teams. I'm, I mean, I'm telling you, if this guy gets to 80k, 100% co-op, get this guy, give this guy a chance. With a backbone, you bring that jumping up, he can play center, he can play anywhere. He's quite tall, he has high and stocky, so he's going to take a lot of space. Kent is broken. What has Sterling got? 5-4, man. I wish he had 5-5, five, five, but again, Sterling is a great card. I think the most underrated card of this whole team has to be Bernardeschi. He has such, so many great links. First, he links Cristiano. Second, he links to Italian players in, in, um, in Serie A, which I'm sure there are a few decent. And also... In Serie A, there is a lot of decent players, man. Serie A this year has got a lot of love. He has a lot of traits, if I'm not mistaken, outside of the foot trade and, and, and flair, which is good enough. And he has 5'5". Five, five. He's tall and he's high in average, which is an absolute L. But I think as a ball driven sentiment, you put a shadow on this piece, 73 defending. He's tall. He has decent dribbling, sick passing, sick shooting, 5'5". Five, five. Bro, he's one of the most underrated cards of the whole promo. Second, uh, this Paulinho, I haven't even looked at him. 4-5, whoa, jeez. I don't know why they're bringing 81 pace, dude. Put 83, 84. Just like they did with Tomori, they gave him 87. This card is going to be cracked. He's like, he has a green link with... Um, with the other, with Esmolvini. So you're going to have Tomori and Esmolvini together. And then Huli Chan, Jesus Christ. Five skills for his sentiment as well. And look at those cracked uh, physics. Oh, I wish he had more pace, man. But, well, every single guy's car, I think this is one of the best teams we have ever gotten. This is the, like, this team is absolutely broken. Now, continuing with that train of thought, me building you a team. If I'm honest with you, I basically already have an idea of what I want to build. So, our main player, because it's Chud Hoodie, and I don't want to go with a, a, a regular brand team, because I think by now you all know how to build a brand team. This time I want to go with something different. Chud Hoodie has a sick left wing link to Rashi. I think Rashi is still, to this day, one of the most relevant, one of the best uh, cars you can still use. He has a great body type. He's, he's pacey. He's good in front of goal. You know, he has everything you need in a card, and he has five skills, plus he's dead cheap, so we can bring the cost of the whole squad down. This look show 160k is an absolute machine. These three players together, I think this left side is one to look for. This look show as a center back is another absolute machine and you're going to have him on full cam. You put a shadow on, you have to be looking at one of the best center backs in this league. Again, stocky body type, medium, medium. It basically means that my guy is going to be an absolute world that will always be defending. He will never go up. He ain't go high a high attacking worker it's like most um fullbacks if you want him as a fullback you can keep him as a fullback if you want to do this in the other side you can definitely just get a uh, 
what if Pereira, which is one of the best right backs I've used in the whole game. Now, cool. Um, okay, crunch, but is there any way you can, you know, just keep that only that side as prem and do the whole team like a hybrid because you know i'm tired of using the same printing go on lad and crunch what if you added another free player because i know a lot of people are going to be completing this mandanda because it's really nice it's really cool that uh, the objective that you have to complete to get this card and this league actually has a lot of really nice players so first we can go with a regular 433 just to make cam easy you can definitely go for another center back that's like simple to link you can just go get walker if i'm honest with you but if you didn't want to the, the reason why i'm saying this is because you can bring zambia in whom i think is an absolutely underrated beast and i and then bring santa claus which i think is another absolutely underrated beast why do I think? It's because he's tall. You can definitely put an anchor on him. 82 defending and 82 physicality ain't the best. But you know these FIFA. You know 96 pace every day over defending anyways. And at the end of the day, you're going to have him right next to someone who has like 91 defending regardless. So this car there, or as a fullback, is going to be an absolute an absolute machine. If you don't want to do that, you can definitely just go for a, for a towel, man. You can just go for a towel and use, use a towel as a left back because I think he has five skills i think has he got five five star weak for right five star weak fit you can definitely use him as a left back good left back with backbone i'm sure 100 percent i've used him in the past and he's sick look extra passing for that for that left side this guy can play as a right back and these are your two center backs and then now we go to the main area this is the reason why we picked this lee Melo is gonna be an absolute machine and if you want you don't want to use him because Maybe you're like, oh, crunchy, you know what? I like Liz Melo, but I like, you know, I already have Chute Hoodie, who is really defending. I want someone more attacking. You can put Renato Sanchez in form there. Uh, but this Liz Melo, again, another 80, 80K car that's absolutely underrated. <laughs> like, honestly, this guy is absolutely underrated. If he had, nah, I don't know how to explain. I don't understand why he's so underrated. 99 stamina, 90 long passing. You get... 80k for these these two it's insane i just wish he brought a center back so that i could actually put there but there is none like you know there is kimpembe but he's a little bit of he's a little bit more expensive than i would like him to be so yeah we have this side then our right winger and i was having issues here because i don't know if you want guys want to go ahead and you want to spend a uh, 182k for the attack actually you don't even need him you can get golovin i love that golovin 20k for this beast i actually used him and i absolutely love he's brutally brutally insane then this here is again where the money is at. i think ben Yedder is still an absolutely underrated card that a lot of people are not using just because this year is not the same as the previous year you know five first week for is not as important but it does provide our links you can always do this and then have whatever you want here the reason why i started with the 433 regular is because i wanted to bring another underrated beast which is simons there is so many players that we can use and i think not using simons would be an absolute brutally an absolutely brutal mistake this simon is such a beast this guy has five week five three week for right you can put a marksman on this beast Look at that. Even on 7 cam, bro. Even on 7 cam, he's going to have 87 shooting. So 89. Oh, my goodness. And that dribbling. He's short. I think he has traits. No, he ain't got no traits. But he's short and lean, man. He's so silky on the ball. And then, as your, as your other player, um, to finish this off, you can actually do anyone. If you complete it to Divo, you complete it to Divo. I reckon, please, EA, give us another center back. It would be very nice. You can use Laporte if you want him in your party back. You can use Kim Pembe. You can use the cheaper Kim Pembe. Personally, what will I do? Uh, I'll get uh, I'll get Santa, mate. I'll just get Santa in it. Like, I, as I told you before, I don't mind using Santa, and I think he's a great card. Um, if not, if, again, if you don't want him, would you, if, if, if you don't have that much faith on him or on Golovin, you can always get Varane in. You can always get Mendy and Lefak as a centre-back. There is so many options that you can go for. Like It's literally down to you to whatever you want to do. So yeah, let me know. Uh, is this team good? Do you like it? Is this, is this your vibe? Is this not your vibe? 800k for this team, I think, is an absolute bargain. Again, if you want to make this cheaper, it's that simple. 
you just you just get the beast uh, Renato Sanchez here. Will he link though? He's 84. He will be on six camp. Eh, you can find a way to fit him into your team. Definitely. I am sure there is other uh, Leo players that you can bring in. So you could get rid of him and you can bring David in. So and you know uh, whatever whatever makes you happy, man. Whatever makes you happy. You know there is so many things that you could do. And then in game, send to mid, send to mid. And then whatever formation you want to play, if you play a three defender formation, you have Shaw, Klaus, and Zambia as your center backs. And then Atal can play like on the wing with him on the wing with Simon and David strikers and like Rashi Cam or Rashi striker and Simon Cam. Bro, you can do anything you want. This team that I value is absolutely insane. So yeah, if you guys like it, let me know. If you don't, then leave a like anyways. Love you all. See you all. Goodbye.